you can really enjoy the pleasure of sailing like an old sailing ship across the ocean at reasonable speeds. And, and, and that's a big, a big driver and I think we'll see more and more of that because people are definitely more conscious about the fuel um, burning aspects. The, the Dyna rig is a very sensible solution because it, it keeps the sail sizes small and keeps the loads manageable. You know, during, during cruising or racing you can have anyone anywhere on deck and they're, they're, they're at no risk of uh, highly loaded sheets or blocks etc. If you don't use your sails you don't get performance out of them and because it's so usable I think you'll find that the, 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 the Dyna rig gives up performance. And as a direct consequence of that, it makes it very green. You know, it's a green rig because you can easily sail the boat you know, from the moment you leave the dock or the anchorage till the moment you arrive. Maltese Falcon has done a number of transatlantic uh, uh, passages uh, where she never turned on the main engines at all. That's pretty unusual for these very big boats. But if it's very easy to use the sails, you use them. has this embedded neural network of optical fibres within the structure. Technology which we developed a few years back and is in all our big rigs. And that technology is measuring the loads in the rigs continuously from the moment that they actually lifted into the boat to the end of the, of the rig. So we have that data from Maltese Falcon, Black Pearl, from all, from all time, effectively. Today we uh, joined up with Southern Spars and the reason we've done that is because Southern Spars have uh, some great technology in their design areas and particularly in their CFD areas and they have uh, great manufacturing facilities. The team at Southern will give us the capability to leapfrog the rig to the next generation which will be even better.